Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. I'm not even gonna bother to give you excuses of why I haven't been posting. I've been busy, and that's the way it goes. So anywho, what I wanted to do today was talk about a couple of things. Real quick, I did a little bit of tweaking, as I'm always doing, to all my gear, my setups, and so on and so forth. And I decided that the way that I had my ZV-1 set up, it wasn't working for me. So here's what I did. This is how I have it right now. And as you can see, what I did was I took out that handle, that small rig handle. While it's incredibly convenient and it, and it was great and I would use it, it kind of didn't work with the way I wanted to set this up. Now, the other problem was is that having this power brick here put over here on the side, it was totally not working. It made it really hard to access the camera and the buttons from the side where I had gotten used to being able to do that, you know, from behind. Like I, what I used to do is just reach behind it like this and I could feel and know what the buttons were and know how to manipulate them so that I could change my settings on the fly without actually having to see them. Well, when I had the power thing here on the side, it threw off my flow and I couldn't do it. So I decided, well, let me see if I can put it up on the top and I didn't want to lose the microphone dead cat here by putting it in the the hot shoe basically so i thought okay well let's see what kind of stuff i've got that i can manipulate this small rig cage in such a way that i can do it so i dug into my drawers i've so many drawers full of just stuff and i found this stuff here so i'll take this apart real quick and i'll show you how i did it so i have this little uh it's it's almost like another hot shoe piece that has a quarter 20 and just a little a little round plate that screws along the grooves to tighten top, bottom, whatever. And I put it down as far as it would go and then screwed the little round thing all the way up against the cage. And then that gives me this this like part that fits into a into a hot shoe essentially. And then I found this piece right here, which is almost like a reverse hot shoe clamp. Basically, that's exactly what it is. It's a clamp that, that, that you can screw in from the sides. And I took this thing, this power bar, and I put a little piece of that, in this particular case, the 3M super rubbery grip stuff. I also have Gorilla. I mean, I got a ton of this stuff. I use this on everything. So I took a strip of that, put it on the back of the power strip, and then I mushed it down to the top of this clamp. And now I could just take the clamp, slide it on there. And then it has this, just this little tightening knob here on the side and tighten that down. And now this is on here tight. And I also, obviously I used a Velcro, one of those Velcro strips that runs through the pieces of the clamp to sort of clamp it down there even further, just in case the adhesive tape doesn't hold or I bump it and I smack it, at least I've got the Velcro to hold it all together. Uh, then I just sort of ran the cables in through, cause there's gaps here, through the gaps. So I come out of the side of the camera, up and around the front, or I guess the back hoop of the Velcro around the front and then into the actual power strip, power bar, whatever, power brick. The power thingy, as you can see, that's pretty much how it holds. Now, you know, I've got this on the grip. I can hold it, I can maneuver it any way I need to. And I can also come in here and grab the camera like this. And then as you can see, I have this little hoop, loop, whatever, that screws into one of the quarter 20 holes down here. It's a black rapid like strap loop or whatever. And then I can, I can you know, I'll stand up here. I could just loop it over my shoulder and it holds the camera, but you can't see down at my waist. I can't come up that high. And then when I need to, I could just pick it up. And then if I need to drop it, I drop it. And usually I have this loop this way around me because when I leave the house most of the time to go do any kind of shooting, I usually have the ZV-1 with me now on that strap so I can hoop it off on this side, but I also carry my still 6600 on this shoulder with a different strap. That way I don't have to set the camera anywhere. You never know, somebody might grab it or whatever. Plus with all this switching around and everything, it just makes it convenient to have it like looped around me securely so I can set it down. I know I'm not gonna be smacking it around or dropping it or leaving it anywhere. And then I can pick up the other camera, film some stuff, set that down, pick up my still camera, or sometimes I'm going with one in each hand and, and you know doing what I gotta do. So that's really all I've done to this thing. 
just to make it that much uh, more convenient for me to, to hold and to take around with me. Because I have been so busy with work the past few weeks, or the past month, I haven't really done any shooting at all. And hopefully now, by the time, like, I don't even know what day it is, I guess it's Thursday. So by the time I'm done with my work tomorrow, I should be caught up. How many times have I said that? I should be caught up enough that, uh, I, you know, like it isn't going to be as crazy as it has been for the past couple of weeks. Because the past three weeks, give or take, basically since the week before Thanksgiving, straight up till now has just been batshit crazy. The other thing that I said that I was going to do was a giveaway. So I'm going to do the damn giveaway finally, one way or the other. What I'm doing is I'm going to give away this, uh, this UU rig plate for the bottom of a ZV-1. So this was the thing that I got the first time for the ZV-1. And this basically has the little screw that goes down up into the uh, tripod mount and it butts up to the bottom of the ZV-1. And that just allows you to move because these are all quarter 20 holes, threaded holes, so that you can move your whatever it is that you're using. If you're just doing a tripod or a, a plate or anything like that, a quick release plate, so that you can put it on here, but you can still access the door for the battery and the SD card on the ZV-1. Remember, I bought this to use because it was gonna take a long time for the small rig cage to come in. So as soon as the small rig cage came in, obviously I'm using that for my setup instead of this. So that means that I can give this away. So since I've never done a giveaway before and I'm not really up on it, I'm just gonna do the lower 48, continental US. Sorry, everybody that's not in the US. Uh, shipping's just too expensive and I can't deal with that right now. So anyone, if you're in the continental United States, so the lower 48, all you gotta do is like this video, leave a comment and tell me your favorite actor or actress. I don't care who it is, whatever. Leave a comment in the video, like the video. As soon as I get 25 likes, just 25, that's not a lot, 25 likes, I will randomly go through whoever left a comment and pick a winner. And then I'll let you know. And obviously you have to have some way for me to get a hold of you. So, you know, hopefully you have a YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff and I can find it. And then I can notify you and let you know that you've won this, get your address and all that kind of stuff. And I'll ship you the, I'll ship you the little plate and, uh, and you'll enjoy it. It's a, it's actually really well built and it was very convenient and yeah, great. So that's it. Just wanted to give you a little show on what I did to tweak my setup for the ZV-1 and I wanted to do the giveaway for the plate for the bottom of the ZV-1 so that it makes it easier for you to be able to go out there and film, which is what we all want to do. That's all I got for you today. Quick video. If you have any questions about the setup, drop them in the comments below. Make sure that you that you like the video and that you comment your favorite actor or actress. And as soon as I hit 25 likes, I'll pick a winner. All right. So thanks for joining me as always like subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids forward and up.